further debate. The member from Thornhill. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker, and I'm very pleased to rise to speak on Bill 211, Brain Tumor Awareness Month, Amendment Act 2016. And this bill isn't to create a month of awareness. It is to change that month from October to May so that it can be aligned with other jurisdictions so that we can have a North America Awareness Month. Um, you know, I just want to mention very quickly that there are probably other more important bills that we could be debating, including my two private members' bill, which seem to be locked in Never Never land and um, we need to see uh, time and money being spent on research but this bill does support that because what awareness month does is it helps facilitate the charities that are fundraising to support the research f that we need um, in, and in, in, it helps them by having this month because they all focus their resources together and they work together and they usually run their galas and fundraising programs during this month. Just yesterday I toured the University Health Network's um, new facility for research, which is very close to here, just walking distance. It's the Kremble Research Facility, and they're struggling to get grants to do research. Um, I specifically spoke to people about Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome and arthritis, ankylosing spondylitis. These are all very important, Madam Speaker, as we know. And there should be less effort made um, by these researchers to just try to get government funding, they should be focusing on the research itself. As a former optometrist, I just want to mention that one of the things that optometrists do is diagnose brain tumors. And I'm going to give, you know, just a little bit of a description of what's called the optic chiasm. Chiasm is from the Greek letter that means it's like an X, and we have the optic nerves from each eye cross in the back of the brain into an X, and depending on people's visual fields, if they're losing um, part of their um, vision, we're able to test it now. Uh, you know, we've got very uh, fancy computerized equipment to do the vis visual field testing. And I'm going to just say that one of um, the symptoms of a brain tumor is missing part of your peripheral vision. For example, if you're missing both the right and left from the center out, and everybody's going to go home and close their eye and point to something and do the little wiggle test to make sure that they can see way out there. Uh, but if you're missing the right and left temporal quadrants, we call it, that's bitemporal hemianopsia, and that means that the tumor is right in the middle of that X. And then depending where you've lost vision, if it's a quarter quadrant, if it's both quarter here or a quarter here and a quarter there, that will tell, um, tell us which part of the optic chiasm, where along the nerve the tumor is, and then sure enough, people go for a CAT scan and, um, or an MRI, and yes, the tumor often ends up being exactly where we were able to predict. So it's very important that people are having headaches or loss of peripheral vision, that they take it very seriously, and um, when they make those appointments, that they explain their symptoms carefully, that they don't just call and say, I'm getting headaches. They have to say, I don't normally get migraine headaches, and suddenly I'm having migraine headaches. Um, and to ensure that they're being seen quickly enough to keep that pressure going until they're seen, because time is of the essence, as we know. There are 27 people a day in Canada, as we've heard, who are diagnosed with brain cancers. That means 55,000 are living with uh, brain tumors. And um, I think that while there are many awareness months, as we heard, some of them might sound a little peculiar, I think that raising awareness of the symptoms of brain tumors, not just having a month to recognize that people have brain tumors, but using that awareness to warn people of what the symptoms are so they seek the medical attention, which is so readily available in our wonderful province, to ensure that they get the earliest diagnosis and the earliest treatment with the best outcomes. That's what it's about, and I'm very happy to support this bill to move uh, the awareness month. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. Further